I'm and I don't same. think that you ever have to lower your standards ever. And if you find yourself lowering your standards, you're not going to be a match for whoever that person is. You, you just won't be because it's something isn't there. There's not a connect. And so like you might not have to lower your standards, but you want to make sure that whatever you do want, you'll be a match for that. Hmm. Do, you, do you believe that you also have to meet the man standards. Absolutely. That's time. what I was just yeah, saying. That's, 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 that's kind of what I meant by that is that mm -hmm. whatever you want, whatever you want, you've mm -hmm. got to make sure that you're going to be a match for that as well. That's you working on yourself. That's making sure that you're adding value to the relationship, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a free ride. It's a partnership, right? So you should both be adding, you should both be balancing each other out and adding value. So mm -hmm. I don't, I don't tell any woman to rate, to lower their standards. I'm like, girl, go get it. You want what you mm -hmm. want, go get it. If you lower your standards, you're not going to be Which a match for I, when, which is, is why when I tell women, you know, how do I find a man? I, I'm, I'm 36. I've done all, everything by the book. I've got my career. I've got everything on point. I need a guy who's my equal. And they find that the guys who are their match, their ideal match, would have, don't want to have anything to do with them because now those guys are in a position of sexual selectivity and they're not selecting those women. They're selecting women who are far younger than, than, uh, than those women are and are more in touch with their feminine, are more in touch with, are more nurturing, would make good mothers. Others. And that's that's and so I'm dealing and maybe you guys will see this as well at some point dealing with a generation of women who who and I, because if I say you know get in touch with your feminine I just said it sounds like I'm saying dumb yourself down it also sounds like I'm saying compromise uh, set idea you know, go for the good enough guy and right now that's like the cardinal sin uh, in girl world is to tell a woman that she needs to settle for less than what she, because hypergamy doesn't work that way. It's like, it's, it doesn't seek its own level. It's always looking for the net, you know, bigger and better deal. So it, not only does it go against women's innate nature, it also go against the cultural narrative, which is you get what you're a queen, go and get, go get what you can get. You go girl kind of thing. Yeah. And if uh, you go girl, at least as far as my, <laughs> my, my understanding. So, so here's my take on this. My, my observations on this is that, the reason why we have such a low divorce rate is because we have such a low marriage rate right now. And the reason why we have a, such a low marriage rate is not because men aren't taking responsibility. It's because we have these unrealistic uh, ideas of what is going to be the ideal mate for us and what is not. And so when we have these, nothing better than, than uh, you know, Brad Pitt or, or you know, Justin Waller will do. Um, and so therefore, if I can't have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule my life and mold my life and create my life into the to the point where I am the man that I wanted to marry in the first place because that guy's not forthcoming but I still need long-term security how am I going to get that I'm either going to get that from from the state or I'm going to get that from outside influences or I'm going to be able to do it myself which means I got to start my own business I got to have my Instagram on point I got it's a the funnel marketing kind of thing and so the aspect of long-term security is no longer something that you go and look for in a partner you look for it in yourself and as a result we see more and more women uh being uh you know, not not married you're talking about dudes having their instagram on point right